Hi, welcome back to my Allen Bradley PLC test bench. Today I'm going to show you how I test the 1756 IF6I. Now this is a six channel isolated analog input. It uses a 20 pin arm and when you're, I've got it hooked up to the 1756 OF8 so that we can test it both in voltage mode and in current mode. As you've seen in the other videos about analog cards that I've been doing lately, both analog and digital use different components inside of the card and you have to test both of them in order to make sure that you have a good card on all channels. As you saw if you watched it on the IF16 damaged input video that I did, I had one where the it had two channels that were dead in I believe it was current mode, but voltage mode worked perfectly. So this goes to this has prompted me to do all of these videos here, call this video week instead of shark week. And um, that's why I've I've done it the way I have. Now the wiring for them is a little different between each module, so We'll get set up down here at the bench, uh, get it down so we can see the chassis. I'll point out the differences in the wiring for voltage and current. And then as usual, we'll swing over to the uh, screen and just go a little quick uh, thing on the configuration. And one little quirk I found in the configuration screen that uh, only seems to happen with 8 point uh, outputs and 6 point inputs. There's, it's just kind of a different thing. So. Anyhow, uh, stick around for that. That'll be a, in the next part, after the uh, wiring part. Thanks a lot. Back in a minute. And we're back. So here we are at the chassis. So the OF8 and the IF6I are both set up for milliamp current mode 0 to 20 milliamps. Now the wiring on these two cards is the same but it's different which really thank you Rockwell engineers the um, IF6I and the OF8 the way they're numbered is different on the OF8 we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 okay and most of the modules are not like that. Most of them are like the IF6I, which we have here, where we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's only the six input channels. So, and this also, this is the page that shows the current module wiring that shows the jumper between here, between for channel 0, and it's the same on every module. So, there's our jumper. Now, this being an isolated module, you could have current on one channel, voltage on the others, because the all of the commons are isolated. But what I've done for testing purposes is all of the the commons are jumpered together on this card to this card. So that shows that you can do it that way. It's just not a recommended practice, but for testing on a bench, there's nothing wrong with it. So that's the current milliamp wiring. If we look at the voltage wiring, it's slightly different. So here's our voltage out. And you can see on the OF8, for, for voltage out, it's a first terminal. For current out, it's a second terminal. Hopefully you can see that there. And for voltage, again, you've got the first terminal. And on the current, you're using both of them. So that's the differences between the two, how you wire the, them up. Always consult the manual. Uh, I know a lot of us guys don't like reading instructions, but hey, that's the way it is. So we'll just take that off. Because right now I have the current or milliamp program loaded. And we'll swing over to the screen. So we'll be right back uh, setting up the screen looking at the software. Alright, we're back. So here we are at the screen. 
and if we zoom in a bit you can see there's our test set up in our tree so if we go to the uh, OF8 it's as you've seen in the OF8 module uh, video it's set up as current so let's open the IF16 IF6i screen and we get back here up there there we go isn't this fun I know you're bored to death anyhow so there we go so this is set up for voltage so we've got our connection times our info or configuration is the main thing we want to do now what I've done for testing is I disable all alarms for all channels and you have to do each channel individually you have to step through and disable it or you can set limits in here for what you want when you want alarms to happen so here's our channel 0 through 5 and we go to 0 and they're all the same now a little something I found interesting if I wanted to change from let's say plus minus 10 so we go 10 10 deb minus 10 minus 10 and then you go up to plus minus 10 volts so hit apply yes so there we go that's how you change from voltage to current now when you're doing your initial setup I found if I was changing the numbers here first and then going up here to the uh, to picking the uh, configuration why that keeps moving on me and it would when I ch if I did it here first and then here it would change this back to the previous one when you go to the next you know you go to the next screen and then you come back so what I've found is if you do your change here first like in this case we want to go back to milliamps because that's what we're all set up for and we go 20 20 0 0 and apply now if I would just gone through and done changes on all the channels and then hit apply it would only do it on the last channel so step through one at a time and this is both offline and online so obviously and this is version 19 of the software that I'm running an old one uh, maybe it was fixed after but it's something just always double check your work so that's all there is to configuring this card um, like I say you can configure every channel individually however you want voltage current you can mix and match on this card because it is an isolated card so if we uh, and there then we do this the usual testing here and currently it's at 20 milliamps back off a little bit really kind of difficult to see that and we'll go there so there's our output value there's our input values and zero two now zero is stay on milliamps stays at zero which is unlike voltage it'll bounce all over the place so two and you can see it's a little lower than two but not much four six eight ten etc 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 so testing of voltage is exactly the same except I load in I put the voltage arms on and then I load in the voltage program which is all set up so that I don't have to keep you know rewrite the program each time because if you just change it over here now you have to go through and do all your configuration so for testing it's easier to have two pre-made programs so there we go uh, hopefully I think that's almost the last for analog week for control logics anyhow 
Um, I've got to get some flex modules tested here in the next month and uh, I'll do some more then or even before. Come back anytime, subscribe if you like, like and you might even just want to ring that little bell if you uh, are so enthused. Have a great week and uh, enjoy life. Thank you.